studio smells so amazing this morning. It's filled with incredible aroma of authentic Italian cooking. Beatrice Tosti of Il Posto Accanto in the East Village. Buongiorno. Buona domenica. Buongiorno to you. Yeah. Thank so, you for being coming back. So girls, thank you for having me. Today we're doing something that is very Sunday. It is an oxtail ragu, and it's very Sunday. Why? Because it takes a while to cook. So, you know, you put it on in the morning, you kiss it, you go do your thing, and it's ready later. <laughs> okay. So, so nice. So, you know, oxtail, mm -hmm. that used to be in Italy, we call it il quinto quarto, the fifth quarter. This is what we call offals. Offals. Okay. Not offal. Okay. Offals. <laughs> okay. And, um... And I made the ragu with the oxtail, celery, carrot, the holy trinity, celery, carrot, onion, garlic, <laughs> parsley, sea salt, pepper. And this is the result of after many, many hours of cooking. Uh, yeah, wow. Many hours is how many? It depends on how old the animal is, actually. So it could be from two to four. There is a recipe. And we also made other wonderful things, people. <laughs> we made a smashed cauliflower. How cute. Can you see the yeah, color of the... And they're showing Hello. the cauliflower here. This is amazing. And healthy and wonderful. And you mm -hmm. can have it with an egg in the morning. Make extra so you have leftover. Wait, yeah. so this is all different cauliflowers? This is a Romanesco green. Okay. This is a purple cauliflower that you have fresh over there. And this is oh, an orange okay. cauliflower. Okay. Okay. So there are no spices. I mean, there are sea salt, mm -hmm. garlic. But it's the color of the actual cauliflower. Mm. How beautiful is that? Beautiful. <laughs> and then farrotto made with farro. So it's oh, like a risotto right but here. made with farro. Mm -hmm. Farro is an ancient mm. grain that I love. Mm -hmm. it, is, it was pre-wheat in Europe, in Egypt. It has a very low glycemic in index. I think it's like that. I mean, we have to figure so it out. So it's healthy. It's healthy. It releases the sugar slowly into the mm. bloodstream. So you, are, you feel fuller longer. You feel fuller longer. Yes. <laughs> That's and you good when you're eating Italian food. Although then you can't eating, eat oh, everything, all the time, but especially right? Italian. And so what are you do? What are you doing here? I'm putting the pasta with the so, and this is sausage. Okay. This is wonderful sausage, and I you have the recipe on the website. It is nice sometimes to give a little extra love to the sausage. So I'm cooking this with garlic, bay leaf, and white wine. And you put the pasta right on top of the ragu that we had shown earlier. Because we are going in Italian. You say mantecare. You always want to get the pasta out al dente mm -hmm. and finish to cook it with the sauce so it absorbs all the wonderful flavor. Never throw out the water from the pasta because you know it's your best friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if it gets a little uh, dry, you just add a little of the pasta water to it. And what kind of pasta is this? It's this huge. is packety. We love, do you know, Cindy, the, um, the pasta, the more you chew it, the better it is. This is why pasta al dente is better than uh, overcooked pasta. Al dente. So how long do you, do you usually cook pasta? I cook it raw. Raw. I, I, it's more like sushi than al dente. <laughs> In our house. Right. But the more you chew it, mm -hmm. the more it develops your gastric thing oh. and you hmm. um, digest it better. So, you know, I like it al dente. And then if you think it's too al dente, just cook it more, but with the sauce and add to the sauce. Now, when you're preparing sausage, because this is another Italian staple, what's the secret that people should keep in mind when they're preparing it at home? Uh, put some wine and some bay leaf and some garlic in it. Wine, bay leaf, and garlic. Yes, ma'am. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Please do yes, join the pleasure. party. Should we play? Do you girls want to try? Yes, sure. I do. Pass me one of those of super cute plates. Mm -hmm. These plates, you know, Umbria is still under a lot of stress for the earthquake. Right. Every day there are 75 uh, small um, earthquake tremors. tremors. Right. And so these come from Deruta, near Perugia. And we send our love, oh. right? Yes. Always. Where, and where are you from? Remind Un me. momento. Oh, sorry. Formaggio. <laughs> <laughs> Scusa. Ta-da! Oh, Four. Good. The plates are gorgeous, too. No, I am from Roma. They, they felt the earthquake in Rome. Everybody was mm -hmm. freaking out. You know, well, and, okay. And All we, right, here we go. <laughs> we have your recipes on our website. Yes, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Beatrice. Grazie, goodbye. Happy holidays. Thank you. Gobble, gobble, Pandoro. <laughs>